the team of uh, John Warner. Dana, I, I loved your work. I always, you know, as a fellow CPA, I, I looked and appreciated your comments and the work that you did. Thank you. Ms. Hall, would you check if there's any other slips on the table? And Janelle Robinson. Janelle Robinson, 4945 US Highway 220 West Summerville. I've waited a long time to tell my story, and I'm glad that it's uh, finally over. Um, I had no idea what I was getting into. I have never been involved in Summerfield politics, and last year I decided that I wanted to start learning about people, and I wanted to, to vote this year. Um, I moved to Summerfield in 2000. We built two houses and ended up coming back nine years ago. Um, and in some articles, the candidate said how long they'd lived in Summerfield. And one particular, one Todd, said he and his family purchased a home in Summerfield a year and a half ago. And it kind of made me turn my head sideways and wonder, well, why didn't he say my family moved here a year and a half ago? Um, so when something, I felt like it was worded that way on purpose. And when something makes me kind of turn my head and say, that's not right, what's the deal with that? I started digging. And I asked him um, on his Facebook page, his political page, several times, and he wouldn't answer it. And I saw him answering other questions, and he wouldn't answer me. So I finally got his number, and I texted him, and he said he bought the house in early July and moved in in August. Um, so I, I let it go. I thought, I assumed he was telling the truth. I typically trust people until I find it. Oh, I shouldn't. So, um, I drive by that house many times a day. I carpool to Northern Summerfield, all over. So one day in February, I looked it up uh, to see the address, and I thought, I wonder where he lives. And I saw that it was wrapped in Tyvek, and nowhere near livable. So at 8.45 one morning, I drove up his driveway. In my truck, it's wrapped with my logo. There was nothing sneaky about it, and I walked right up to the door. One time, I went on his property, and one time only. There were no no trespassing signs. I know better than to pass a no trespassing sign. I not, went to knock on the door. There was no door, no windows. I didn't peek in any windows. I went one time. And I left. And I talked to my husband and my dad about what to do. Because I felt like he was lying. And I filed the challenge. And I didn't ask for anyone else's input. I didn't talk to anyone else about it. That was my decision only. I had nothing to gain politically, financial. It was the right thing to do. I called the Board of Elections or downtown and said, hey, what do I do with one of my council members? I don't believe he lives here. And they said, fill out this paper. And, um, and I went with it. And there was no one else behind it. After I filed the challenge, maybe a week later or so, I went up to town hall and said, hey, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Janelle Robinson. I'm the one that filed the challenge. And I believe Reese was there that day meeting with uh, so, I don't know, he was there. And I went down the hallway and introduced myself to everyone. And I, I talked to Reese, and I talked to Scott, I talked to Dee, I met Lance, or someone down in the office, and, and worked my way up. And that was all there was to it. There has never been any more to it. I never had a secret meeting. It was so purely ethical, and some people can't understand that, because all they understand is financial motives and political motives, and that's not me. Um, so I moved forward with it. I kept winning unanimously because I had a mountain of evidence. There wasn't one typo. I had so much evidence. And so many people wouldn't even look at the evidence. You want to see evidence? Just look at the Duke Power Bills. I'll share them with you. The month Todd filed to run for office and changed his voter registration to Summerfield, his power usage in Summerfield was zero. Zero. And it was like, $200-something dollars in this Greensboro house. That's just one month, guys. I can go on and on. I'll send you the Duke power while we're sitting here after the meeting. <clears throat> if you look at the power usage, it was consistently $13. That's because of that service to the house. Maybe once it was $100, but consistently that whole time, it was two to $300 in his Greensboro house. I have the kilowatt usage. I have power box one and two. I've got it all. But some people don't want to look at it. They won't even look at the proof. What I want you to know, part of that is Danny Nelson running for mayor is Todd's biggest supporter. 
He was at almost every hearing sitting with Toddy, or Todd and with him. That, that was it, guys. That's all there is to it. It was that simple. Um, I kept waiting because the justice system saw the truth. They saw the evidence. Um, what I'd like people of Somerville to know is that the group running with Danny Nelson, I firmly believe they support Todd Rotra. I've asked on their voices for Somerville face the page if each of them support Todd. They won't answer. Um, maybe a couple of them don't fully support him, but they're teaming up with a group that do. And when you have Danny Nelson leading that group, who is Todd's number one report, uh, supporter, always with him. If he says he's not, he was with him at the hearing. I mean, they won't speak out. They won't say it, and they don't. So, okay, well, I didn't see you with the timer or for anyone else. Oh, yeah, I can't. Okay, well, that's it. I finally get to say my piece. There was, there was nothing more to it than pure ethics. Um, and if you don't believe that side supports Todd, ask them, because they won't answer the question. I would love to know if each of them support Todd or if they don't. Time's up. Yes, your time is up. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Did you, would you like, there are so many personal attacks here. I'm sorry that Mr. Rotrek isn't here. Um, Mr. Nelson, there's a personal I attack. Would take... you like to step to the podium and respond? No, it's all right. I, I don't we can agree. do this. Hey, we won't, go, we won't go on procedure here. Just personal attacks against you, and I just wanted you to get the opportunity to defend yourself. I didn't use my five minutes, but that's okay. You did not. You used two minutes, actually. You want to finish your three minutes? Go ahead. I'm all right with that. Go ahead. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> fine. Okay, Daniel Nelson again. We're talking about the pleasure intro. I did not use all my time. No, you did. It was two minutes. That's all. Okay. So we have three minutes in there if you're watching the talk. I'm doing it. Now, this is a false accusation. Did I pull support all of the Todd Yes, because he was on the campaign or the uh, platform for uh, no PD. I supported the yellow dunk. Yes, I did. I support Teresa Pickle. Yes, I did. Do I support him now? I know Todd Rocha, but I did not know him before he ran for council. JL's asking for something, and we can we can go a little further here, just like some false stuff. The question she should ask: Has Danny Nelson ever posted on any of them websites? I have a post. I don't even know how to post. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm Danny Nelson. Okay, do you support Todd Rocha? This is this is Nelson's time. It's my time. You made that accusation false, just like the junior senior did. You apologize and then you threw my butt for my son. There, that's public comment. To you threw the son under my butt under the bus at that point. So you need to get your facts right and straight. Dean Barnes, I grew up with. It's unfortunate, completely unfortunate, that our town went the way it has. I did a lot of work and I even petitioned Sheriff Barnes and uh, Dina into the town of Summerfield. <clears throat> To be voluntarily annexed, that's even a lie. Sheriff sure Barnes posted that I came down and stood in his backyard and pleaded with him and his wife to sign a petition to help Summerfield become a town. I did not, have, and I had zero to do with Summerfield before the government had been in the courtroom. Zero. False information. And our other mayor candidate put that out. Have I said anything that I post? No, I just let them talk. I want to be for the people. And if I start throwing these false accusations around, why is it important? Todd Roach is not even running for council this time. He's not even running. So why are we hashing the old stuff? I believe in courts. What I believe in, if you want to get to it, I believe in due process. I believe in the judicial system. I believe that ever that nobody's above the law. Nobody. And I'll say that as long as I breathe on this earth. If we have a speed limit sign out there that says 35 miles an hour, 
we're all supposed to abide by. It don't matter if it's set down for 50 years. We're still supposed to run 35 miles an hour. That's the law. And I stand here and I'll say that from now on. So if you don't know who I am, then talk to my friends and my neighbors and people and those. I've always been truthful, honest, and will continue to show Is my time up? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you have a couple of comments? <coughs> Let's take a five-minute break. Six